welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ellie. And today I'll be showing you how to make my vegan, gluten-free chocolate mousse tart. This looks and sounds like a really indulgent dessert, but it's actually made from surprisingly wholesome ingredients like raw cacao powder, oats, and coconut yogurt. It's also really quick and simple to make, so I hope you give this a try at home and let's get straight into the recipe. We'll start off by adding three cups of oats to a food processor and blending these until it forms a flour. You could just buy oat flour, but this works out so much cheaper and only takes a few seconds to make yourself. Then we'll add in a quarter cup of melted coconut oil, two thirds of a cup of maple syrup, two teaspoons of vanilla extract and a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. Just blend everything together until a dough is formed and you have the base of your tart. You might want to take the lid off and scrape down the sides once or twice. Then press down your dough into a large tart tin and flatten it out on the sides and the bottom until you have an even layer. I find the easiest way to do this is just by using my fingers and then place it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, you can make your chocolate mousse by whipping up 500 grams of a thick yogurt, so I've used coconut yogurt, with a third of a cup of cacao powder until it's nice and fluffy. Then you can add in the remaining ingredients, which are a third of a cup of maple syrup, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Whisk everything together until it's really well combined. I just did this by hand using a fork. And then take your tart out the freezer and spread the chocolate mousse over the base. Use the back of a spoon to create a smooth texture and then this bit's totally optional but if you have some pretty sprinkles, feel free to decorate your tart. Don't forget to whip your phone out, take a picture and tag me on Instagram at Ellie Breacher Nutrition. If you want to continue with the decorations, you can scatter over some desiccated coconut, fresh berries or even dried rose petals. Leave this in the fridge to set for 10 minutes and then all that's left to do is slice, serve and enjoy. And that is my easy vegan gluten-free chocolate mousse tart. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below and I'm going to go and enjoy my chocolate mousse tart. So I'll see you back here with another video next Friday.